today I'm going to make a uh, Hobie rabbit stick they call it. Basically it's a traditional style throwing stick that the Hobie Indians used. Um, to take rabbit I, I would assume and probably other game like duck and geese and whatnot. So basically all it is is a curved, curved piece of wood um, made out of a hard wood. <clears throat> then it's kind of flattened down and into a, like a wedge shape. shape. I'm not sure all of the aerodynamics behind it. I'm sure they had the aerodynamics perfected. And I'm gonna try to make something similar to it. it. Probably won't be exact, exacting, but. So let's go out and see what we can do. Well, I came across this piece of wood here. It's got a nice curve in it. Um, the width may be a little bit small compared to what they had, but. I'm going to make one out of this. So I'm just going to take it off right about here, or maybe right in here, and about here. Here first. Here we go. All right, let's see if we can shape it a bit with the machete first. Just to kind of get the overall appearance that we want. We don't want to take it too far. Pretty crude here. Well, we got a pretty crude shape of it here. The throwing aspect of it probably takes a lot of practice also. I'm sure, you, I'm sure they practiced. I used to be a pitcher in my, back in my day, but it's been a long time. My old arms getting old. It'll probably take me half an hour just to warm my arm up before I can throw it. <laughs> Starting to kind of take shape here. Well, I got it as far as I'm going to take it. Still pretty crude. Um, but the way you throw this is horizontally like so. Unlike a boomerang, which they threw this way, um, it had a concave section on this side, which they put aiming towards their body, and then they threw it at a 45 degree angle into the wind, and then it come back to them. Um, but for the rabbit stick, you throw it horizontally, like so. Um, the advantage of this is that it has this larger surface area than, say, like a rock. So you have, you don't have to be as precise with your aim, I suppose, because you have what, like 18 inches of area to hit it. And I believe they threw it low to the ground also. Um, so yeah, let's go take this out and see if we can actually get a rabbit. Um, the way I would do it with our modern technologies like headlamps is I'd go out at night and use my, my uh, light to, uh, you know, blind the, blind the rabbit and then take them out that way. But they didn't have that kind of technology back then, so I'm sure they had their own ways and methods of um, doing it. Because unlike with a bow 
or a slingshot, you have all this movement that the quarry will see. Um, with a bow, you, you know, you're pulling back, but you wait till that time when they're not looking, you pull back and then let go. With this, you know, you got that, all that movement. So I guess you just wait till they're not looking and give her a, give her a good toss. Anyway, let's go see what we can do with it. I'll wait till later at night when it's dark and then uh, use my headlight and maybe we can run into a rabbit. First, I gotta practice with this thing though. Guess I'll start by seeing if I can hit that tree right here. Tree that's right with my finger. Right there, those two trees next to each other. If I can hit those, I'd be surprised. Yeah, it's going to take a little practice. Consistent, consistently missing the same spot. Have to work on the handle. It's all because my handle's not quite right. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> you ripped the shit, but I got it. Well, that was a short-lived one. Guess we're not hunting with it tonight. <laughs> Unless I make a new one. Oh, shoot. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll make up a new one, I guess, and then we'll try this later. Well, I made a new rabbit stick up. So we'll see, we'll practice with this one. I got this used up laundry detergent container that I'm gonna use as a target. I figure it'll be a little bit less uh, <laughs> harsh on my stick. So let's go put this down over here a little ways. Here. Give her a whir. Well, the moral of the story is you can't just willy nilly make one of these rabbit sticks. There was a lot of thought and design behind these throwing sticks. Um, they had a blueprint in which they fouled to a T. Even though it wasn't a blueprint, it was probably just passed down from generation to generation. 
I'm going to go out there anyways and see if I can hit anything, a rabbit with it, but the odds are very, very low that I will. Well, right now I'd say my chances are about 1 in 1,000 to hit a rabbit. <laughs> I'll keep practicing. Well, the night has become dark, so I'm going to go out. See if I can find a, see a rabbit, and then see if I can hit it with this old uh, good old rabbit stick. I checked the uh, rules for a uh, hunting rabbit, and I didn't see anything about not being able to hunt with a stick, rabbits with a stick. I do have the licenses that are required to hunt rabbit, so I think I'm all good. I guess I'll find out if you can't. <laughs> Hopefully the penalty is not too bad. So let's go see if we can find a rabbit out there and hit it with this thing. Alright, so I'm just going to walk down this path here and look for glowing eyes. I'll walk down it. If I don't see anything, then I guess we're out of luck. Maybe come out some other time and look. When the seems like when the weather's warmer, the rabbits like to come out. Especially in the summertime. You see them all over the place. Hear that noise? That's the sound of very cold snow. We got in, down into the negative numbers last night, and I think it's supposed to get down that cold tonight too. We got an Arctic blast here not too long ago, so that noise will make it nearly impossible to sneak up on a, get close enough to a rabbit to get a throw at one. They have very good hearing. So, I don't think it's going to happen tonight. I walked up and down this path, and uh, it's not going to happen tonight. So, I'll turn back around and call it good. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'll come back out later, maybe try to practice with this stick and hone it in, maybe whittle it down so it flies better and come back out later some other day and <clears throat> see if I can get one with it. It'd be pretty cool to use something so simple to harvest a animal. So take care. Thanks for watching.